in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a match cut effect now you can use this effect to grab a viewer's attention to a particular word or a text and in this example i'm going to demonstrate it with screenshot that i have here but you can of course use anything that you want such as articles journals and all that stuff so you just have to download the camera click audio file so here it is i'm just going to bring it onto the timeline so if you play this all right just a simple camera click now what you have to do is just simply create a copy of it hold the alt key or the option key and just drag it to the right side like so and just put in a gap in between so this clip i'm going to just put it at the 20th second over here so I'm going to do this again, hold the alt key and this time I'm going to make sure that the gap is much lesser than the first gap and you repeat this process. Have a less gap and you repeat the process and we're just trying to speed up the clicks and we're going to display our images faster at the end. So before it will be very slow and then as we move forward it will be fast. So I'm going to create another copy and on this one I'm just going to make it a little bit quicker like so you can even overlap the clips again duplicate it and just make it faster and faster like so and finally we'll do one more like so all right so if we play this now we should have something like this right so i'm pretty satisfied with that but you can of course take your time and make sure that the rhythm is correct and once you are satisfied with that then you can just grab in your screenshot and i'm just going to put this onto the timeline like so i have this simple dummy text generator called lipsum.com and i took a screenshot of it and now i just want to highlight a specific word in this so we can just go ahead and pick any word from uh, from this paragraph and i think this word uh, repeats a lot of time vestibulum let's just enable the uh, safe area so if you go to view and go to safe area make sure that it is turned on and that way you will have a, a cross here in the middle that will help you to align things in the center so sometimes it doesn't work even if you turn it on i don't know why it doesn't work but if you just keep on turning it on and off let's try and get this to work because i don't know why i think it's some sort of a bug or something once you successfully activate the safe area then you can see you have this cross here in the middle and we can use this cross here to align things in the center so i'm just going to again find that word and you also turn on the transform over here so you can see this transform icon just make sure you click on it then you'll be able to drag it right in the screen as it will be difficult to control it using the inspector options over here so just turn the transform on and you can just simply drag it and move quickly around the canvas over here so i'm just going to target this word vestibulum i'm going to put my cross here on that word and i'm going to zoom into this so i'm going to zoom into 10 over here and again i'm going to just put this cross here on that word so i'm going to put it on this u letter yeah that is our first word and now i'm going to use the blade tool and slice the clip near the second camera click uh, audio so just split the clip and now we can just move to the second clip and just change the position and find the same word but at a different location in your document we have this word over here as well so i'm just going to put my cross here right on that word or right on that letter u letter and i'm going to use the blade tool again and make another split and on the third clip over here we're going to move the uh, position and just bring it on the third word over here which is the which is the vestibulum word in our case i'm just going to put it right over there so if you now play this you will have something like that and you do this for all the clips over here with all the audio click we have over here and once you do that you will have something like this i have already made this match cut effect on another timeline and instead of the word vestibulum i choose to select this word called match cut so if i play this 
can see the match cut word is right in the center and doesn't change um, so you are pretty much done you can just stop right here you know render out your animation but if you want to go further one step so what you can do is you can add in some effects to this so the very first effect we will add is the highlighter so you can highlight a specific word so in our case it's the match cut so to do that we'll go to generators and apply a solid color generator to this I'm going to split this clip make sure it matches the length of our animation and then in the generator we can change the color and we can just pick any color for this so let's maybe go with the uh, blue ish color and click on ok and then in the settings i'm just going to change the composite mode and set that to multiply and then i can simply crop the left right and top and as well as the bottom and just highlight that word so you can just uh, you know fine tune this and you know cut it properly and once you do that then you should have uh, something like this all right so that is effect number one the next effect you can do is you can go to effects apply an adjustment clip on the top and just split the adjustment clip like so and now you can just right click on the adjustment clip and click on open in fusion page and once it opens in the fusion page you can just after this media in one if we view this this is our media in one after the media in one we will add in a blur tool to this and if you view the blur this is our blur node and we can set the blur size to three okay we have a subtle blur over here and on this blur we can apply in a ellipse mask to this so let's just apply that and i'm going to click on the invert option and then we'll just change the size of this mask like so so it's pretty easy to do and you can just increase the soft edge a little bit so that there is some feathering around this ellipse mask that is looking great i can go back to edit page and you can see the effect being applied over here and now the final thing you can do is you can grab in a paper texture Put it at the top and again i'm going to just split this clip using the blade or the slice tool and i'm just going to on this image i'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees and then zoom it in and then you can also change the composite mode and set that to multiply and if you think that it is a bit too intense you can control the opacity as well right so if you play the animation again this is what you will have So that is just about it that's how you can create this match cut effect inside of davinci resolve i hope this video was helpful i hope you learned something new if you did then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one